Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mini 2 video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to utilize the RTH or return to home feature right here inside the DJI Fly app. Again, using your DJI Mini 2 drone. I've put out some videos, some basic setup and takeoff, um, basic flight control videos that you definitely should watch if you haven't watched them yet and you're a novice drone pilot who has no experience flying drones or has barely just start to get your feet wet flying drones. First things first, always before we take off, we wanna make sure we have our home point set because that's how the drone is going to know the coordinates in which to return to home. So as you can see on my interface here inside the DJI Fly app, you see that we have a yellow H that signifies that our drone has a home point stored. So we are going to now take off. I don't know how good you guys can tell behind me, but I have my drone on a car mat specifically that's where it's going to take off from and we're going to see how accurate the return to home coordinates have been stored and how close the drone actually gets to coming back and landing there with my hands off of the sticks not even controlling it once we initiate the return to home feature so without any further ado let's get the drone up in the air and let's fly it away a little ways and we are going to tell the drone to return home. Now, when would you use the return to home feature? Quite honestly, guys, I use it quite a bit just for filming, just getting a really good solid straight line because I know that that drone is just going to come in a straight line wherever it's at back to me. And it's easy to get a really good cinematic solid straight shot when using return to home. So let's just fly a little bit further away you can see in the lower left we are about a hundred and fifty ish 150 feet high and we're just about a thousand feet away so let's just go right here to the end of this parking lot and we will call it good and we will see how accurate this return to home feature is and I'll show you guys when it's a good time to use it so I'm looking on my overhead map we're just about to the end of that parking lot. We'll call it good right there. Now let's say that you either lost sight of the drone or you get in a panic. This is an awesome feature to have. Also, there are some settings in your app that you can set up to tell what altitude you want the drone to come back at because there could be trees, power lines, man-made structures in the way and you wanna make sure your drone gets up yay high before it comes home. Yes, I just said yay, hi. Um, so I believe mine is set at 200 feet. I'm at 150 feet, so we'll see. I can't remember, but I know I have it high enough for the setting that I'm in. I'm comfortable with it. But now what you're going to do, you have two options as far as initiating return to home. If you look on the controller to the far left in the middle, the same place where you took the drone off, you will see a little H with an arrow pointing down on it. You tap that and hold down to initiate return to home or on your controller here, you have the return to home button. Now to do it, you don't just short press it, you gotta push and hold, and then you will listen, you will hear the beeps, and you'll notice on the interface what it does. Here we go, push and hold. Tells us that it's auto returning to home. You see my hands, they're not controlling the sticks. The drone is on autopilot. Now notice with altitude, it did go up to 200 feet. I believe that's what I had it set to. And this again makes it comfortable for me knowing that we're up above everything and it's not just gonna be like say I was flying at 75 feet and then I need to return home. Well, it could fly into something like a tree or something. You know what I mean? So that's why it's important to have that set up. But as you can see, hands are off the sticks. We're going to see how close it gets to landing on the car mat now. So now the drone is descending and we will see again, guys. Let's, I'm anxious to see how close this little DJI Mini 2 can get to actually landing on the car mat. And if you'll notice, there is the remote controller. So I am hands-free to prove to you that I am not touching the drone. So here it comes. And it is pretty disappointingly not very close to the car mat. As you can see, it landed right there. 
and the car mat is right here that's honestly i own two other dji drones and that is by far the worst landing i've ever seen and I did store that home point and it was right there. It's not where I'm standing. I set it to where the drone was. So that's pretty crazy. That's not near as close as my Mavic 2 Pro would get. But this, I didn't want to, I'm not going to lie. I want to make honest videos and I want to show you how far apart it was. Now, so that comes into play in the instance, if you were like standing out on a dock with water surrounding you or something, you want to make sure that you have the control and you can override because something like that could happen. The technology on these things are very amazing and that's still pretty, what, that's within four or five feet. But on the DJI Mavic 2 Pro that I have, I mean, it will land on the spot. So, but it's just one of them things. Um, they could still be having some firmware updates, things like that, that may get it a little closer. If I did it five more times, um, four out of those five times, it may land on or really, really a lot closer to the mat so hopefully they'll get that ironed out a little bit and it will be a little better and i could have just totally restarted this video and filmed until it did land right on it but that wouldn't be honest and that's what i'm about is showcasing you guys all the things about these drones whether good or bad that is how you use the return to home feature be sure that you go into those settings and make sure that you set your return to home altitude so that way it will climb up where you need it and you guys um I just wish you safe and happy flying. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I'll continue to have more DJI Mini 2 videos upcoming in the future. As always, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan.